The warmer boatmen were, in the late 1800s, much like the dill boatmen, a dying breed. Fishing had become their main income and boats along the foreshore at Warmer were now becoming depleted, with the old dill lugger having just about diminished out of history. A living still had to be earned though, so the boatmen now turned to mackerel, herring and sprat fishing, most of which was carried on during the night when the fish made a better appearance. The few pictures in this short film show the boatmen and their boats on Warmer Beach in the 1890s, rare pictures drawn in pencil and a scene that will never again be witnessed along the beach at Warmer. Herring fishing started in late September and continued into November. The herring were in their prime and full of row during this time of year and some good catches were recorded, but with poor prices this was only a short delay before the cruel winter gales set in and money became hard to come by. The sprat season started on the 7th of November when huge shoals of sprats moved inshore after a good southwest blow. The first box of these was always sent to London for the Lord Mayor's Day, a tr tradition that was still being carried on up until the 1970s. Again the sprat season was short and prices were not good enough to see the boatmen through the hard winter that was to come. Mackerel had two seasons, one in the spring beginning in May and lasting in until the latter part of June and one beginning in September and lasting until the latter part of October. On warmer beach there were two mackerel boats, each with a crew of four men and each boat carrying 60 nets, with each net being 15 fathoms long and 4 fathoms deep. A fathom is 6 feet for those unfamiliar with sea terms. They also carried around 700 fathoms of rope. As well as their fishing nets, each boat had four sails, the foresail, jib, mizzen and topsail, a barrel for every eight nets carried, four oars, an anchor, cable, provisions, a water cask and a stove and pan, and a saucepan to boil some mackerel in for the men's breakfast, a kettle, oil skins and sailwesters, also a small hand winch which was used to haul up the nets. They also carried two lights and a lantern which run on turpentine, a lead line for taking soundings and a dan with a black flag attached to it which marked the end of the nets. The boats leave the beach in the afternoon and are away for 12 hours or more, wind and weather permitting. When they reach the fishing area the nets are shot and as it starts to get dark the mackerel start to swim nearer the surface, especially if the moon is out. After several hours of drifting the nets are hauled and the fish got aboard. The boatmen then set a course for shore, and on beaching they heave up the boat. The task of shaking the mackerel out of the nets now begins, and after a couple of hours the fish are boxed up and sold to waiting fishmongers. A good price could fetch as much as six pence, but normally it was around three farthings a hundred. For a couple of hours, if the catch has been good, the beach is a scene of bustling activity. The men keep a few mackerel for themselves, and doll out a few for the helpers. After 18 hours work and risking their lives at sea, they all go home to bed and all goes quiet on the beach until night comes round again.